If I was a football coach, I would win the team every single game because literally every single play, they line up and then they run straight into the other team. Like, bro, like if you want to score any points, you need to run around. Like, you literally just need to run, but they literally run straight into the other team. They're like, okay, 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 touch hot, boom, straight into the other team. Like, oh my gosh, it frustrates me so much. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride chair extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Core fade more. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in and let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. We are almost at a thousand subscribers, and I really appreciate you guys. All you guys are sitting around and listening to this old man rant. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, Charlemagne. The God, I like to call him Charlatan, <laughs> the God. He um, was recently on The Politico, had an interview, and he is supposed to be the most influential uh, radio personality out here, especially the, especially in the black community. And this guy says that he regrets backing up Biden. What? And Kamala whatever her name is now it's funny it's like all these celebrities now starting to say oh man i should never have voted for biden they all got like buyer's remorse we had uh cardi b like last month cardi b was saying the same thing Blech. it's a rat problem in new york she regrets voting for biden and mayor adams she says do not call me for my uh endorsement anymore she don't want to hear it from you democrats anymore but now we have Sh Charlatan the God saying the same thing. Because a lot of celebrities are saying it, but they're saying it under breath. But it's funny. It's hilarious. Because it's really, you know, you're going to vote for him again. You're going to vote for him again, Charlatan the God. You're not going to vote for uh, Trump. You know what I'm saying? It's already too late. Now, the Biden administration, they kind of... uh told Charlemagne, go fuck yourself, really. Because they said, we're going to South Carolina. We're going to go back to the black churches like they always do. They're going to ramp it up. And they basically said they don't need Charlemagne influence anymore. Because again, they know that the majority of black folks, 95% vote Democrat. But this time around, they says 17% of the um, the Democrats are not voting for Biden already. 17% and there's another 20% say they're going to stay out. So that's 37% already of the black vote either considering not even participating or they're going to vote for Trump. No! 37% already. That's a big number. But Biden and Kamala are doubling down and says, you know what? We don't need your influence anymore. We got this from here. All right? So Again, once they get your votes, once they take you for granted again, they really don't need you because they got the younger folks. And Black America, I don't know if you've been paying attention with the immigration. They really don't want you anymore. They're starting to replace you, replace us. You see what's going on in Chicago? What? You see what's going on in New York? No. You see what happened to California? California has giving the illegals uh, um, health care. Oh, my gosh! Governor Gruesome Newsom has voted in health care for illegals now. So if you just have, if you're illegal, they're going to take care of you. Now, when the last time they even did that for the black Americans? Nah, never, never, never. They're going to replace us. They don't want your votes anymore because they see that last, uh, what, 30, 40 years, they've been trying to give us breaks 
been trying to give us uh, affirmative action. They gave us the NBA. God damn, what else do you want? And y'all still complaining. They gave you hip hop music. Y'all not getting better. Y'all getting worse. So they're just going to replace you. You complain too much. You whine too much about the same old, same old, talking about civil rights, this, civil rights, that. Some of y'all was not even here, and y'all keep talking about civil rights. But you know who's taking over your civil rights? They are. Yep, the Hispanics. We don't spend enough blood, sweat, and tears to lay foundation for the other people. You got the LGBTQ people. No. They're using civil rights now. They use, they take advantage of it. We have the obese folks. They're using it. So the word minority used to be meant something. It doesn't mean nothing for us anymore because they got minorities on top of the minorities. We're not a minority anymore. They don't even consider us as minority. They consider you just black, black American. You go over there, you sit over there. But minorities is the rainbow community. And any other grievances is out there. If you have a grievances, if you have a um a gender dysphoria, they consider you as a minority. And they're gonna cater to you. If you're from um the Arab country and you come here, they consider you a minority, even though you got their skin color. They consider them in a minority. If you're Hispanic. Any parts of South Central America, they consider you a minority. Even though they are number two in the population. But again, but you're from Argentina and you have somebody from Mexico, you're two different Hispanics, right? But they still call you a minority. But black folks, you're nothing over here no more. They don't even want to entertain you anymore. They're going to replace you. They're going to replace you. We have AIs. Right now, it's that could cook. Now we have AIs that can cook. We have AIs taking over um, um, uh, fast food restaurants now. It's so funny that fast food restaurants used to be a way to supplement income. Right, you got a full time job and you got some children, and you're trying to um, supplement your income. Sometimes you got the 16 year old go to work. And take care of some, uh, take care of his needs and get, get to, to the workforce. But now we have Consuela and Hector and their whole family is running a McDonald's. What? From the general manager all the way down to the janitor. They're going to be Hispanic. Now you can't even get a part-time job anymore. Yeah, I don't see that, right? It's hard to even get a part-time job because we have what? 12,000. New people crossing the border in Philadelphia <laughs> and they per day taking over these jobs that you don't want to do. You know, you're too good for fast food restaurant. You want to flip no burgers? Fine. They're going to do it and they're proud to do it. They, everybody keeps saying they are hard workers. If they're the hard workers, what does that make you? If you keep saying these people are hard workers, and they don't take breaks. They don't take no cigarette breaks. They do the job right. What did that say about you guys? Why would I hire you? Uh -huh. If I want somebody to cut my grass, I have somebody I can pay for $20 here. Or a, a black American is going to charge me $100. And a black American going to drink on the job. They're going to smoke cigarettes, 20, uh, 20 smoke breaks. Or I could pay Hector $20 to cut my grass. Who are you going to do it? Who are you gonna who are you gonna give the job to? So of course they coming over. They are coming over. May, messing up the uh, market. But it's okay because again, this is what you voted for. Charlemagne the God. Here's your L, sir. Anyway, if you got any value out of my content, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You see the notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you radio personalities, get off my lawn.